and say his name is glorious above all names. Praise the name of the Lord. The only time, the only time that every act and every word and every breath and every deed and every note of music and every prayer that's prayed and every offering that's given is not. Did you know? Uh, did you know you'd stop struggling in your finances if you'd fill this bucket up here? If you'd fill this bucket and don't come up and say, here's a dollar bill or here's five dollars, when you made much more than that. And the tithing is not five dollars, it's not one dollar, it's not three dollars, it's your tithing to God. It's your offering to God. God would bless this church and prosper them. Praise the name of the Lord in every church. I believe in giving. Jesus gave. Did he not give? He gave his back to the life. He gave his head to the crown of thorns. He gave his side to the spear. He gave his hands to the nails and his feet. And he gave his mother to his disciple. And he gave his life. And he gave everything. I am going to give all I have. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm going to give everything I have. All that I have. I'm going to reserve it and say, I'll need this for a rainy day. My goodness, a rainy day will take care of itself. Uh, you give to God, you fill the offering basket overflowing. Uh, somebody said, Brother Marlowe, why do you go there two or three times uh, during a, a service? Because uh, God touches me to give, and I give again, I give again. Why do you stand and preach? Because I'm giving. Uh, I was up at 4 o'clock this morning. That's no sacrifice. Uh, I'm not going to glorify uh, that because some of you were also. Uh, but let me tell you something right now. God, God is everywhere that we want Him to be right now. I was coming back on the plane from Louisville this morning uh, and, and uh, from Washington, D.C. Went to Louisville to Washington back down. And I was flying. There was a young lady that was sitting uh, on the outside perimeter of the chair and there was nobody between us and uh, she was expected at motherhood and and uh, she sat there and I noticed that uh, occasionally she would cry and wipe her eyes and finally I took a card out of my pocket, uh, a minister's card and I gave it to her. I said, what's your name child? She said, Kim. I said, where are you going? She said, I'm going home to my husband. He's in the service and I'm not sure what our future is going to be. We have four children, and I have this child on the way. And I'm not sure about what my future is going to be because he may be shipped to Afghanistan, and I have four children to raise, and I don't know if he will come back or not. And I began to talk to her. I said, are you a Christian? She said, yes, I am. I said, where do you go to church? She told me, Berean Baptist Church. I said, do you believe God can take care of your husband? She said, I believe that. I said, let's pray in the name of Jesus. And they're about 37,000 feet above the ground. We prayed in the name of Jesus. And I witnessed to that young woman. And she said, I feel better. You know, we have a light inside of us. We have help inside of us. We have hope inside of us. We have joy inside of us. We have peace inside of us. We have direct connection with a God that is able to heal the lame and take care of the lonely and comfort the distressed. Uh, all we have to do is be in the place where he wants us to be and then let it out. Praise the name of the Lord. Let it out. Amen. I personally am sick of religion. I personally am sick of churchism. I wouldn't give you a dime for churchism. Not one. I'd give you less for a church member. But I can tell you this right now. Uh, you show me a child of God that is anointed of God, filled with God, wants to give their life to God, not afraid to give up, give over, give in, and say, give me God, and I will shout all over this house. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. 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 Show me a church on fire for God. Show me a church on fire for God more than they are for the rays or the buccaneers or, or whatever the, all that stuff is out there and show me a, a child of God who will get more inspired in the church to sing praises to worship God to give him glory than they will for some amusement thrill of the world and I'll say glory to God. Amen. Amen. Amen.
praise the name of the Lord. I believe it's time for the church to get ready for the coming of the Lord. Yes. I believe it's time for us to prepare for the millennium of Christ. Amen. I believe it's time for us to get ready for the white horse. The black horse is past. The red horse is over. The pale horse is through. There's a white horse. Yes. And that white horse yes. is coming. And there's a rider upon that horse. And his name is Jesus. And his vesture is dipped in blood. And he's to be the king of kings and the lord of lords. Somebody ought to give him a praise right now. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And you know, I believe God can give us enough power in worship because there's nothing, there's nothing uh, about worship that is uh, uh, trashy or it's indecent or there's nothing about worship uh, that is uh, just a boring, dull something unless you make it so, unless I make it so. Uh, if I don't trash the house of God, it's the most beautiful place I could ever go. Praise the name of the Lord. If I don't, uh, if I don't trash a song I sing, and I sing it with power, and I sing it with love, and I sing it with inspiration. It is the most beautiful song that was ever sung. I never heard of a song that was so beautiful as that tonight, Chad. Thank God you sang it. Praise the name of the Lord. There is nothing that exceeds the power and grace of God when it fills the heart of his people and the family of God. Praise the Lord. You know what we need to do though? We need to fall more in love with Jesus. I said we need to fall more in love. Amen. Amen. We need to fall more in love with him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him again. And keep on praising him. you trash the house of God, this is the house of God. I am the house of God. You are. It's by letting your life sink to a level where there are possessions in you that is not Christ, where there's obsessions, where there are feelings, where there's wars and fightings going on as to whether you really want to serve him or not, whether it was, when you have to force yourself to come to the house of God, when you got to force yourself to pray, when you got to force yourself to sing a song, when you got to force yourself to shout, when you got to force yourself to be excited, you are trashing the house of God. Yes. But God doesn't want the house of God trashed. We are His people. We are beautiful tonight. Everybody say, I am beautiful. Amen. I am beautiful. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. See, and you don't have to take a poll for somebody to decide that. You don't have to, you don't have, to have somebody say, well, I guess you are or you're not. That, that, that's none of their business. I am beautiful in the sight of God tonight because I am God's child. He died upon the cross for me. He gave his life for me. He absolutely laid it down. Praise the name of the Lord. He gave everything on the cross that I could live and not die. Praise of God is only trashed by his people when they do not rise to the level of worship and praise and adoration and devoted discipleship that he would have them to. But Jesus Christ did not trash the cross. He brought glory to the cross. He brought glory to the piece of wood. Amen. He brought glory to his father. He did not shame his father. In the face of Pilate, in the face of the Jewish world, in the face of unbelievers, in the face of, of uh, uh, Judas, the devil from the beginning, in the face of, of all the calamity and suffering Christ went through, he never, never, never provoked his father. He never was indecent. He never was out of sort. He never, somebody said, well, that's Jesus. That isn't me. But you are going to be like him. Praise the name of the Lord. Because you said 
You wanted to leave the world and follow him. You wanted to be his disciple. Did you say that? Or was I mistaken? Amen. You mean there's some people in your life who said that? All right, I'll stop preaching you an oracle right now. For everybody in here. 